So I just wanted to do a quick breakdown video of how I made my vanity section. So this is a little bit of a DIY a hack. So this is essentially an Ikea hack. Now I kept seeing um, different vanities that I really, really liked on Pinterest, but when I was pricing it together, like how much it would cost to get a three piece like dresser set. One, I didn't think I needed three big pieces of dressers because I thought that that was too much space, especially living in New York, you wanna downsize on space, you don't wanna bulk up and get too many things that'll allow you to hoard. So I wanted something on the smaller side. Initially, I was only going to get two of the bigger dressers and then do some kind of tabletop piece on top just to kind of create that vanity area that I can sit at and have like a dresser top. But when I went to Ikea, the dresses that I wanted were 160 a piece. So that would have run me $320. <laughs> so, no. So I decided, okay, what can I do to compromise on that? Now, as I was in the dresser section, I saw these dresses and I thought, they're $39. They're tiny, but they're only $39. So instead of getting two, I said, why not get three? Now, in my mind, I envisioned how I wanted it, and this was exactly what I envisioned. I didn't know how it was gonna come together or how I would get it to piece together, to be functional, to work, but I just knew this is what I wanted. Three small dressers, and I wanted to corner it in a little bit, in a way, in my room, to have it work. So here's how I did it. These three tiny dressers, I showed a piece of them um, in my apartment tour video. They came naked, plain naked wood. They also have little jars of paint next to them that you could buy to paint them, but of course, I just thought I could buy the paint cheaper elsewhere, and plus I had white paint left over from painting my cabinets and my uh, underneath the bathroom sink area. So I was like, okay, I'll buy these three naked pieces, take them home, and I will paint them myself and just do it all when I get home. So what I did was I came home, I built these three separately. Now before I placed the drawers into each slot, I painted each drawer separately, then I painted the exterior, then the knobs, they also came naked. The knobs came um, separate and I just gathered, I kind of arranged those on a newspaper, spray painted them gold. Once those are dry, the pieces of the dresser were dry, then I can finish the rest of the assembly process in putting the dresser together, putting the drawers in the slots, and then I went in and screwed in the knobs one by one. Now. You have all three pieces assembled. I have all three dresses assembled. How am I going to get it to fit in the area that I want it to fit into? So, because there's already a corner here, I just kind of played off of the angle of the corner that's already here. I put one dresser here and far out enough to where I can put a top on it. Now, these tops are desktops. These are just IKEA desktops. They're $10, literally. 10 and 10. They have different sizes. The smaller ones I think are five. This may be 15, please don't hold me to it, but I'm linking everything in there. But either way, these were only about 10 or $15. So we're talking 30 bucks for tabletops, 39 times three, that's $120 in dressers, and plus 30, that's $150 for this entire little ensemble. I love that I, did it myself. I love that it was something unique. I, I love that it was something that wasn't anywhere else. And so that really, really made me happy knowing that I achieved that and I could do it. So the way that I did it, back to that was, I put each dresser, I arranged it the way that I wanted to see it. So I wanted one dresser here, one dresser here, with the space in the middle for me to be able to sit. So all I have to do, pull this out, I'm able to sit here do my makeup, do whatever, like it's just, it's a perfect seating area. Nice, comfortable, it's just right. And then I got my little chair, I specifically got a rolly chair that I can roll in and out, and I got one that was like a stool, just so that I can tuck it in there and hide it away when I want to and have a free space. So that also helped me save on space as well. So each top, now on the back of the desktops, so all of the desks, you can buy legs separately. And I had the legs from my other dresser, not dresser, but my other desk in my office. Those came with four legs. So I just took the two legs off the back of that and screwed them on the back of here. One, two, one, two. So you have two anchors for the legs in the back and then you have the dressers acting as anchors in the front. 
and it's a secure top leg. I can sit on it. That's the sturdiness of it. Now the third one just kind of hangs out. Um, it hangs out, but still in the corner, and it gives me more, you know, like just more broad a type of look. It just extends the look is what I should say. So this one is really just kind of in Jamaica we say cotton. It's just barely underneath the top of this. That way it's still flush into the wall, into the corner, and then flush with the other dressers. So that is how I did my little DIY dresser area. I hope that this is helpful to anyone that's looking to create a vanity section in their room, to create a DIY corner of some kind of dresser. This is a really good and easy way to achieve that. Um, and I almost forgot the mirror I got. This is to me what completed the vanity area. Just a nice, basic, plain, simple mirror. Got this mirror at Target, round mirror for $49. It was $49 two years ago when I got it. I did see recently that the price has changed. It went up about $10. But either way, at that price point, it's still a really good, simple uh, mirror and a good price. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope this video was helpful. Please let me know if you tried this trick. Tag me in any pictures that you upload of you trying it. I'd love to see how it worked for you. I just think it's so cool when people like put their own spin on something. Like it always comes out different, but still cute. So let me know how it goes for you. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.